Now, no one's defense is 1 v 6. They call the, the Birmingham opening. Yes. So, we had a, a yeah, nice a game, rapid game against Fedor Chuk here. Uh, yeah, Fedor Chuk was right. black? Yeah. But it's so, not the uh, same. He's a US GM, right? Fedor Chuk. No. Well, I think so? No. 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 US GM is on the show. Oh, okay. I could have sworn there's a. I think he played here. Mm -hmm. Where else could he go? Yeah. E4. But yes. it was very nice. I mean, something like <coughs> this. Yeah. Why is this not a position I want to play? Mm -hmm. I still like it. It's hard to say so far. The next three or four moves will tell you if this is worth what. This looks painful. Why? Yeah, you're going to put your pieces on natural squares. You have an issue over, over that nasty advice form. Okay, so you take it off. Okay. I mean, why well, could I play success? Yay, I'm not a pawn. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, and you haven't cancelled and you're going to. Why are you little about? Probably going to be, I know what happened. It was something. Mm -hmm. But it was so nice to play that night. <laughs> <coughs> it was something in my position. Like. Black had a fun game, I can see. So he's good when his phone is uncomfortable? Like, or he, was he uncomfortable too? He's a grandmaster. Yeah. He regularly walks himself into time trouble. Now think about what that means. You know, <coughs> when your opponent gets into time trouble, you expect them to play less effectively than... Not um, really. Well, precisely. I don't really care. He's, he's, he's a GM. Um, <laughs> he got to be a GM playing that way. Obviously, he plays very, very well in time trouble. Oh, is he a good blitz player? Probably. Yes, obviously. Um, Okay. That, was um, that was extraordinary, actually. It's, that's the sort of the second, the second one on the list for what might Yeah, I saw. So they had like the pawns um, very... Yeah, it, it, was, it was a King's Indian attack. Um, uh, played, and we, we were talking about Fisher. It was actually very similar to the Fisher's names. But... Um, yeah, they played like half of the things. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's an extraordinary situation where there were these past deep pawns that kind of looked like they were going to survive, and yet they did. Um, uh, um, I have to analyze that and see if there's anything really striking about it. Akhapov's game looks like it could have went on for a bit. Oh, well, I thought Mikhail did a very good defensive job there. I, think, I thought he was still quite poorly at the end of the game and he's managed to, to, to survive. Well, isn't it really, Like, I can't even tell. It's it looks very interesting. Oh, well, at this stage, it's, it's, it's all resolved. But, um, I in would the, keep in the game position. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I would play on as. Of course you would. As um, like. Yeah, the materials have been everything, but, um, um, but uh, I, I thought that Mikhail sort of kind of had a long, hard defensive job, but he's managed to. to no, I mean, in this position, I thought. Why would I 
I'll just say I'll say it. Um, I mean, I don't agree with here. What's, what's the... I mean, the what kept white play made it just six, I know. Oh, really? Um, yeah, can't he? Well, so what's your plan? Do you want to... 906, I take the pawn, <laughs> on E4, because <laughs> it's a pawn, um, and I like doing that kind of stuff. Oh, but then I guess, yeah, I would just play one's way. Not kidding. I don't know what the clock time is now. It is, right? It's well, that could also be that it could also be that White had just decided he wanted to draw because uh, came on a bit. Is there a drawing in the last one? Oh, what? A drawing in the last one. Why would you draw a drawing in the last one? Oh, no, there is no change. What's a drawing in the last one? Um, well, if, if you put the White Rook on, um, on D7, but you know that expression. Put, put the White Rook on D7 and White has a potential check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why would the White Rook draw that? Why would the White Rook draw that? Well, I don't know. Perhaps he was tired. Maybe he just. Sort of... I'm going to put the position up. Yeah. Just so put the rook on d7, it. and you have what Nimzovich calls a drawing device. That's just mm -hmm. not in one. Well. It's just a fact. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange oh, okay. situation where the, the, the king can't go to the corner because of mate. Yeah. Otherwise, the knight just checks back and forth. Where is this? Where is this? I can see it. Put the white rook on d7. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we play check. And the king has to come back to f6 to play check. The king has to go to uh, to, 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 to the edge. You play check. The king has to go. Oh, back. I see yeah. what you're talking about. And, and then but, if the king wants into the corner, he gets mated. But, and but, and but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to win. Yes, of course. Why. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so I actually just learned this right now. I don't know who. I don't know who's playing for the win here. Um, so right. whether White simply got tired of trying to win and couldn't find a way. I would play on and risk losing. Yeah. Okay. That's that's. Now I'm usually thinking about that. Why don't we go for the technique? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But we don't have um, the pairing in this. The pairings are part, pairing. Oh, pairing, yeah. Ella, yeah. hey, maybe introduce uh, each player to my daughter because she doesn't know. Oh, I don't even know. Um, maybe you know somebody. She's very, very strong. She's a couple of years ago. I took the pairing. Yeah. 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 Yes, I'm against Arthur. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so, you must have played him before. Nope, no? never. Okay. Well, he's um, he has played in every champion of his national tournament since they started in 1999. So that's his um, one important thing. It's also, it's also the, the highest rated um, Finnish player in this event. That's something. Mm. Um, There's only one. Yeah, half the field, though, is still finished. I never, when I lived in Finland, I would like, I don't know, maybe 1700, so I never had a chance to play against them. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I have actually never played it. I have no idea. Um, well, I what's to know? Um, uh, Yemeli is a strong grandmaster um, who regularly is short of time uh, for no particular good reason that we can see, except that he seems to be. Like it. Probably, probably isn't there any. Yeah. Um, he has a very uh, cynical outlook in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> Really, he was the next rising, really rising, rising really? star. Um, what and well, he sort of he hit grandmaster level, um, and um, he wound up living, <coughs> living a life as a chess player. And if you talk to him, you'll get the impression that he really doesn't like being a chess player. He would have loved to have been something else. But <laughs> <laughs> I can believe, I can, I can believe that actually. I can believe. Um, well, he 
it's a great personality. I don't know, doing the, the, the market, so when you're interested in all of these things that are around the chess, so there's chesses there, that it's all personalities that make it interesting. And it's probably gave that impression to a A little too careful not to not to write, to say too much about us. I could just talk about it for a few and Eric is. Um, he's I, a, I have played him. Well, okay. He's actually in my club. Uh, uh, no, I've played him when I was in the club. He's only played for a couple of seasons. Um, but the club of Inter is last year's ambitious sporting champion. And I have been. I know he's just seen to be a traditional. I'm going to ask to talk to him. Well, just like. No, no. I think it's not the same. I think it's not the same. I think the stone is quite solid. I'm usually solid for a player that's young. Yes, I'm actually used to not just to be Jeff Sarwell that's running away with the... And uh, he played by the Cayman, I think, around seven. And it was a draw. Uh, total Cayman had only got half a point in the entire tournament. So, uh, by drawing, he started the first time. And Jeff missed a couple of wins. Um, and, uh, and Jeff missed a couple of wins. Oh, I think that might be the issue. Jeff was quite lucky to get the iron in the end. He got seven out of nine in the end. Um, that's not really good. Uh, sorry, no, it's not seven, it was five. Yes. It's five. Five he got, and five point five was the was the rate was the, the norm that we had published. Um, but because Jeff's uh, um, provisional rating when he started the tournament was so low, technically the entire tournament was a little bit stronger for him. Because you rated it uh, according yeah. to the average ratings of your opponents. Um, so in fact the five points that he got uh, were enough for the IM norm. That was the last year. But he dropped a half a point against uh, against Lobo and then after that. Um, after, I suppose you could say that he held the end game very, com very confidently after Jeff had made a couple of mistakes. So he's going to end Well, I think he can possibly have him. Anywhere with that kind of style that he has with not actually not reason to go in and put him in the right nation. That's true. Young men from the house. I have to say, he seems to be a very hard worker. Um, he seems also to be quite well looked up. He was clearly a bit interesting. We're not losing. Well, losing would be the wrong word, but he's here. Uh, the, the worst of this game is pretty much since the opening. Um, uh, so uh, I said he's well looked up, but maybe he was just underestimated as a pundit. Does it look like it is? Otherwise, oh, I don't know. He's the one. I don't know. You read that. I don't know much about his style. Facing off. Facing off. You see, the I am for a And he played very, very competently against me. I'm surprised he didn't grind out a win. I still think he's winning, to be very honest. Um, you were suggesting night, night, night checks and takes. Um, yeah. But of course, they're all of these kinds of these things based on the uh, time. Night F3 check. Um, uh, and then uh, taking the edge cards. Oh, that's right. Um, so you probably just wind up trading off the edge yeah, yeah, one of my yeah, 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 um, and Neil is kind of... Uh, yeah, he seems to do... He did poorly in this tournament last year. He actually lost to Sama in round one, which is the kind of the upset of the tournament in many ways. So he was this guy who, you know, had 
Yeah, after yeah. H5, white place, white place D5. And then it's going to go after that F pawn. So what can you do? Now, of course, you can stop the H pawn. That's, that's got to be at least a draw. See, see, one more step on your back, and then then don't stop the game. I think there is enough to draw there. 
may extend when you go out the special pool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Maybe. Point is up to dark. Well, I'm not certain that F5 is the best one. Same. King F6. Yeah. And then he'll be forced to play the bishop back and forth to protect the H pawn. No, he won't actually. He'll be okay. Oh no, he will. He will stay F pawn on the H pawn.